We wanted to take this opportunity to welcome you to Naturescapes.net and to give you a brief overview of our website. Starting with the home page here, you can see that we've brought all the different parts of the website together. We have the latest articles featured, upcoming workshops, store products, our social networking stuff, as well as latest forum discussion topics, editors picks, and we've kept with the tradition of having a monthly cover image which will be featured right here. We also have at the very top a featured rotation area where we'll be showing you featured products, workshops, etc. Now at the very top you'll notice there are two large advertisements. These advertisements can be hidden for paid members. So I'm going to sign in right now and show you how that works. Now once I sign in as a paid member I have the option to hide those ads which I've set up in my profile. So those ads are now gone. Now let's see how we navigate to the other areas of the site. We've created a new dynamic menu where each section has a submenu where you can quickly access various areas of the site with one mouse click. So if we click on the forums you'll find yourself at the forum home page. And the forum home page is simply a listing of all the forums that we have on the website. You'll notice on the right hand side here we have a column with uh, information being fed to you from other parts of the website and this will keep you engaged in what's going on elsewhere on the website. If we go to the gallery section, the gallery home page is a collection of all the images that are posted in the various galleries brought together in one place. And as you scroll down the page more images appear. To get to the individual gallery, simply click on the gallery in the submenu. We're looking at the birds gallery here. And you'll notice at the top of each gallery we, ha we have the add new image button. We have announcements for that gallery, which if you click on will expand down and show you the announcements that are current. We have access to the forum rules. And then we can see all the images posted in that gallery. An image that has an editor's pick flag attached to it is chosen by the editors as one of our favorites. When you're viewing images in the gallery, you simply click on a thumbnail to view the topic post. The initial display of the image on the topic post will be as large as it can fit in the window. If you're a member, you're allowed to post images a little bit larger than this. And these images will simply pop up in a light box effect with a grayed out background. If your screen is a little bit smaller than the image itself, the image will automatically size to your screen so that you can see the entire composition. If you click the image again, you'll return to the topic post where you can see the caption text or you can post a reply and read the other replies. If an image has been chosen for editor's pick, you also have a little badge showing up here on the topic page. If you want to see all the editor's picks, you click the editor's picks page and you'll see a large viewing of thumbnails of all our favorite images that we've chosen throughout the galleries. And as you scroll down again, the page will continue to load with new images. So this is a great place to see some of our favorite images and some of what we think are the best images in the galleries. Now let's take a look at the new articles section. Our new articles section has a large feature rotation area at the top where we'll be featuring some of our favorite articles that we want to show you. All the latest articles will be listed down the left hand side here and we have a right column where we have the categories and article tags etc. When you want to read an article, simply click on the thumbnail or the article title. A new feature for our article section is that we've included social networking links to share articles. And we've actually made the images pop up to a larger view 
and you can see all the images in the article by looking at them in a slideshow. Another new feature is that we've allowed now commenting on the articles. Once you're signed into Naturescapes, you can comment on all the articles as well as post in the forums. Our new workshop section also features a large rotation area at the top where we can show you some of our favorite workshops. The current schedule can now be filtered by year and by region so you can find exactly what you're looking for. So that concludes the video, an overview of the new naturescapes.net. We hope to see you on the website. Don't forget, if you have any questions, click our Contact Us link on the right-hand side.